So, what is a chart? What are the most common chart types and how are they different? All financial markets generate data. This is data that can be observed through charts, essentially displaying the collective trading decisions of all market participants over a specified time frame. Charts play a huge role in technical analysis, with traders examining such charts to identify trends and patterns. The three main charts used by traders are the line chart, the bar chart, and the candlestick chart. A line chart provides basic information, established in the shape of a continuous line drawn from left to right, calculated using closing prices. Most charts come with a y-axis, which is the vertical panel, and represents price scale. We also have the x-axis, the horizontal panel, that shows time scale. Line charts are especially convenient to help display longer term trends and can also help establish support and resistance levels. Just remember the line chart overlooks high and low extremes, effectively filtering price action. Financial journalists also make use of line charts. You've perhaps seen modern newspapers overflowing with charts in the financial sections. Another use of line charts is to help demonstrate correlations between different markets. Unlike the line chart, the bar chart visually displays individual open, high, low, and closed data of a currency pair, assuming we're talking the Forex market, over a specified time frame. This could be over an hour, 15 minutes, or even one minute. The open is the price level the bar begins its formation, whereas the close represents the level the market concludes trade during its time period. The horizontal dash on the left side of the bar is the opening price, and the horizontal dash on the right side signifies the closing price. A bar high indicates the highest point in which the market traded during the bar's life. Equally, the low represents the lowest point. Bar charts clearly display more information. A big difference between a line chart and a bar chart is that the bar chart shows volatility. An increase in volatility forms larger bars, while quieter sessions, i.e. less volatility, generate smaller bars. And finally, we have the candlestick chart, essentially a variation of the bar chart. Although made up of the same data as a bar chart, a candlestick delivers a more graphic format, which for many traders is easier to read. As you can see, candlesticks, similar to bars, indicate the high to low range in the form of a vertical line. However, in candlestick charting, between the opening and closing prices, we're presented with what's known as a real body, unlike that of a bar chart, which is simply a vertical line. Candlesticks help visualize bullish and bearish sentiment by displaying real bodies using different colors, which can be changed according to the trader's system. In the example here, we use a clear white body to represent bullish or rising price movement, and a black candle to signify bearish or falling price action. For more information, consider checking out our comprehensive educational section at fpmarket.com. <laughs>